Hello everyone, so um, we're going to uh, get involved in a little project here. So um, it's a bit different to um, what we normally do. Um, it's a little small thing, just a maybe trivial thing. So I'm going to do some um, home studio recording. So um, I decided to buy some decent headphones, or I hope they're decent headphones. Um, and I'm a bit of a tight wad, and I like my old stuff. So I found these beauties. They look really cool, and they like totally cover your ears. So like, yeah, it's like I've got my fingers in my ears right now. Um, so I'm optimistic for them being good. Um, they're they're made by Rank Corporation, an old British company. Um, they used to run cinemas and all sorts of things. Um, and basically where they figure in hi-fi is obviously cinematic stuff, um, big audio systems, uh, and also they um, they were the Wharfdale company, um, which back in the day was um, really well regarded. And they were made in Japan, so I expect they were produced by Wharfdale. Um, only problem with them is they've got this uh, strange five-pin DIN connector. So... We need to uh, deal with that to make the thing compatible with uh, the rest of my equipment, um, which I might just give you a quick look at actually. So, one sec. So, here's just some of my stuff. So, you can see there's a variety of rack mounts, synths, drum machines, my. Uh, Digital recording computer I put together, my old uh, Technics Hi Fi over there, and uh, yeah, random associated crap. So, um, yeah, we're going to rewire this thing. So, we're going to um, pop that uh, DIN connector off. So, where is he? There he is down there. So, we're going to pop that DIN connector off um, and kind of uh, identify the wiring, um, see if those things work because um, I scored them off eBay for about like five quid or something. They may not work, um, so we'll check that out, and um, assuming it does work, we'll crack on. And perhaps foolishly, um, I already bought the stereo connector for it before they even arrived, so if, uh, if they don't work, then um, our stereo connector is going into stock. So uh, yeah, let's get set up and get to it. Okay, so job one, let's check out this uh, DIN connector. Um, I'm going to zoom you in, hopefully. Probably go the wrong way. No, I've gone the right way. Ooh. There we go. What I'll do is I'll keep looking up at the screen to make sure I'm showing you the right stuff. So, um, I noticed there's a, there's a screw on this DIN connector, so maybe we won't have to get brutal and cut the thing off. So, uh, let's get that screw undone. See what we got. In fact, I'm going to just protect the table because I do like this table. Okay, so there we go. Get that screw on done. Weapon selected. Where is Vera? Where are screwdrivers? Cheap, decent stuff. Okay. So I uh, got the screw out. Losing. Oh, hello. Okay, that's the result. Hopefully, you can see that. So, the uh, shield of the cable and the housing just uh, slides up, so that's cool. So, hopefully, we can unsolder these. And we've only got three wires in there, not five, so it makes diagnosis, diagnosing which ones are which a bit easier. So, uh, yeah, we've got a black, a white, and a red. So, red is normally. Uh, 
centre hot and I'm guessing the black's poorly ground but I could be wrong so um, let's get testing uh, one second that's our stereo jack so I've gone for a Neutrik not Rian, Neutrik just, uh, seems alright here's my tester Mega Avo meter <coughs> decent quality piece of kit Okay, so we're going to go uh, and set for resistance. So we pop a little voltage down uh, down the cable, and um, we should hear um, when we get the polarity right. Um, we should hear like a little click in each uh, in each um, earpiece, respectively. So um, get something to probe with. Not that, it's a bit too much. Yeah. Okay. So we've got these nice long cables on, uh, sorry, nice long pins on here from the uh, DIN plug. So I'll just uh, I'll clip the neg onto what I think is the ground of this, these pins, these headphones, and I'm going to pop the things on. Make sure I don't tie myself up on the wires. Okay, which way round do they go? Okay, so we marked R and L. So there's an L there. Okay, so let's pop these on. Yep, go to the meter room. There we go. news they work so what I've done just make sure I don't pull all that stuff off the table get that in shot and sh okay so this white one I hear like a scratch in the left ear cup this red red one I hear like a scratch in the right ear cup um, I would like to Give you a listen if I could. I don't know if I can. Um, I'll try and rig something up. I'll see if it comes out on the video. Okay, so got the left ear cup in my hand. See that L there? So I'm going to hold that against the microphone of the camera and probe the white. You better hear that rustling. And now I'll do the. Right ear cup. Hold that towards the camera. And I'll probe the red one. Oh.
and you should hear rustling. Okay, so hopefully that uh, adequately demonstrates it. I had to recruit um, a work lamp as a sort of a holder for the wires. So that's, that's what I did. So I perched the wires on there and gave them a bit of a probe. There we go. So I'm happy with that, let's clear the decks, I'll be back. Alright guys, welcome back, all set. Just uh, get screwdrivers again. It's like a little sort of a retainer, if you want to open it up. Just pop the screwdriver in there and give them a twist. Should be sufficient. Sorry, that's a bit hot. I'll turn it down a bit. And go for three hundred. Okay. So, which one of these is tightest? Red, I think. Yeah, it's red disconnected. Who's next? Black. It's black disconnected. Whoa, that's a bit more. There goes white. Boom. Get rid of dead bits of solder. Okay, so we have. Uh, why isn't it focusing on that? What is it trying to look at? So you have the old disconnect, old connector disconnected. There's the barrel from it. So <laughs> I never throw anything away. Well, not often. So uh, yeah. I'll save that. Okay, so I've started threading everything together. So um, obviously we need to put all the hardware that's got to go behind the um, connector onto the wire. So like the uh, sort of strain relief boot and all that sort of stuff. Um, and happily, the um, Nitric strain relief boot is a really, really good fit on on the. Uh, if I'm wire, I thought I was gonna to have to open it out, but it's like it's such a good fit. So that's good. That'll provide some strain relief during the lifetime of the uh, connector. So next, we got to put threaded portion on. How does this thing work? Okay. All right. Got it. So, yeah, and that goes on last. Okay. All right. So, so we got strain relief slash top ferrule piece. Then a portion. This is actually split. That's quite clever. So that can go on after. That's so the only bit that needs to be on the cable now is the strain relief ferrule portion from the top. This clamp portion for the inside is split. Hopefully you can see that. 
so we can clip that onto the cable afterwards. So that's all good. Here's the actual jack. And this part of the casing goes on over the jack like that. So okay, so we need to get this prepped for soldering. So I think this is where the shield is going to need to go. And it's super shiny. So we'll have to attack that with a file a little bit. Scratch it up. Get some get some key on it. Change of file. Nice pointy one to get in there. Where are we? We're here. Okay. Okay, so that's where a black wire is going to go. Let's get another bit of solder. Well, this, this may be noteworthy. So, I found in my experience that lead free solder is complete crap and doesn't work. So, I always use lead solder, and it's really hard to get hold of these days. But, um, same as decent adhesives, they really seem to be hard to get hold of. But, the bloody Polish, they're a lifesaver. So, um, I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff, but you know, find it on the internet. This stuff, lead solder, brilliant. Um, it's like it's got a lower melting point and stays molten longer than um, a, a, a lead free solder so uh, much less chance of crappy cold joins and building stuff on good there. I forgot to use any flux. This isn't sticking. That's unfortunate. So, uh, These solders, uh, solders, these uh, connectors really need a bit of work before you can use them. Um, I'm having to um, scuff the surface in order to give the solder a key because it was just not sticking. Yeah, there we go.
It's all about the angles. black got black hooked up and shoot for red and try not to melt anything that we want them to be melting Sorry for the time it's taking. I'm not quite happy with that red, the connection looks a bit tenuous. somewhat better. And then we do the white. Okay, so at length I decided to cut all the wires back and start again to go all that it's not it together effectively, hopefully. So we reassemble our connector or we'll assemble our connector. I'll tell you what, these connectors are absolute crap. I'll never use these again. <laughs> So difficult to work with. Okay. So the finished result looks nifty. Let's see if it works. Alright, so I got my hi-fi going with some uh, of my own music, non-copyright stuff. It's me. And uh There you go. Put the phones in. Success. Yes.